cove is apparently full of maritime history. Um, for example, it was the last port of call of the Titanic. Uh, off the coast of the cove, uh, there's an island, I believe that's it right out there, called Spike Island. Uh, it might be something farther out, uh, or that might be it out there. Uh, which was similar to our Alcatraz. Um, like I said, the Titanic and the Lusitania uh, were the, I just touched my face again, were the last, this was the last place either of those place uh, ships took harbor. And uh, I believe that this little dock in disre disrepair right here is apparently the last thing a lot of people would walk on when they were leaving Ireland for America, or Canada, Great Britain, wherever. So, it's a very slow place. Um, there's not a lot going on, and it's not just because today is a Sunday. That's the Commodore Hotel. I stayed there last night because Cove has like one B&B and no hostels. <laughs> so, I didn't really have anywhere I could stay last night. Um, there's a Heritage Museum which I was going to film some stuff in, and uh, I guess I can turn around and talk to you like this. There's a heritage museum that I was going to um, film some stuff in and give you a look, but honestly, when you get there, it's really sad. Uh, it's, it's not a, it's interesting, but in, in a very, very sobering sort of thing, feeling. Um, a lot of people died taking ships from here to wherever. Uh, even as far as Australia, and they don't hide any of that. They don't hide any of the raw emotion with being one of 1,100 people, 1,200 people who died when the Lusitania sank, or, yeah. Well guys, I made it to Dublin. Uh, I'm in Dublin. I guess that's repetitive. Um, what's the first rule of hostels? When you're staying in a hostel, what is the number one rule? Aside from, I guess, what's the number two rule? Number two rule, always, big guy gets a bottom bunk. This person is clearly in violation of rule number two. So... We'll see how that goes. Hopefully it doesn't end like in Step Brothers with everything collapsing down on each other. Um, I met a friend on the bus, or on the tram, coming out of the uh, bus station, train station, sorry. Uh, I was trying to figure out, I was totally lost, had no idea what I was doing, and I hopped on the tram and said, I'm just going to head into the city, because apparently it's two kilometers outside of the city. Uh, and while I was on the tram, I heard an American accent. And I, you know, asked her where she was from, and she said Philly, and I said, you know, D.C., or I guess closest to. Um, and she led me to the hostel she's staying at, and we're hanging out, and I've got a friend now. So that's cool. I was uh, not so worried about Dublin as other places. It's so urban that, you know, you should be fine. But even then, it's, it's big by Irish standards, but it's not that big. That's what she said. Hey guys, I'm in Temple Bar District and uh, drinking my friend Chelsea. Oh, whoa. I always go to Chelsea for some reason. Chelsea? I don't know. Like Chelsea know. Handler? Handler? I love her. There you go. Alright, I like Chelsea Handler.
Eis. <lacht> That's what I uh, envision, this typical bar. Yeah, let's do it. Yeah, I don't know. So British band, I don't yeah, know why. Yeah. You think it'd be like a lot of U2 and Cranberries and shit. Oh. 